All right, it's time for another truck update. Um, past week, I've since moved into UNC Chapel Hill, so I haven't been able to work on my truck much or drive it. But I did take stuff to tinker on because I always got to. It's it's just relaxing to be able to tinker on something. So I took my vacuum gauge. Um, vacuum gauges they're helpful in these old cars. They show you how well the engine is tuned because. Back in the day, you actually had to tune your engine. The computer didn't do it for you. So, these gauges show you how well your engine is running. Um, these things are very hard to find for whatever reason. And I managed to find one, but when I got it, it was very dirty, very rusty, full of dead bugs, and it did not work very well at all. Um, the needle would not rest at zero, and its, adjust its range was too small. It would it only reach like maybe... 18 or so because these are measured in inches of mercury so it only read about 18 inches because I have my actual gauge I use for tuning and it just it was this gauge was very off and then in addition when you accelerate um, vacuuming your engine because your engine is basically just an air pump drops and so your needle is supposed to drop when you accelerate and this needle was very sluggish to respond to any kind of throttle input so basically I cracked it open, which is a feat in and of itself to open these things. They weren't meant to be taken apart. And then, how they work is very intriguing. Um, cleaned it up and so on. Let me show you how this works real quick. This is where you'll have a hose connect, and engine vacuum will suck on this. And see this curly shaped C thing? It's a brass tube. And it's like a thing of it as a balloon. And when vacuum sucks in here, it sucks the air out of this and collapses this C. It'll squeeze in a little bit, just ever so slightly. And when you let go of the vacuum, it sort of allows air back in and it inflates it back a bit and so the C pushes out. And that movement is what moves the needle. Very cool how this works. As a matter of fact, this brand new gauge works exactly the same way. So, it's very interesting. They still use the same design. But, um... Now, to fix zero, you're playing with mechanical advantage here, basically. I had to adjust this metal bar. You can either bend it or straighten it. But I also had to desolder it from the, the tube and actually move its position. And then to increase its range, you have this elbow piece of curled metal, like a C, and that's the lever. And I had to squish that in a little bit to shorten the lever, and that way it would throw the needle further. And once I did that, I addressed the fact that it was very muffled in response to engine acceleration. Because when you accelerate, you lose a lot of vacuum. For whatever reason, the factory installed a screw inside this port right here. And that was like a big muffle. Think of it like, um, I don't know how many folks have taken band. But like you can have, you get a mute for a trumpet. You can still play the instrument, but it's heavily baffled. Same deal. For whatever reason, and that really restricted its responsiveness. So I took the screw out, I tinkered, or played with that piece of metal, got it just right, adjusted this, and now this gauge, this, who knows, 50-year-old gauge, which would not rest at zero, was slow to respond, and would not read the proper range. It's now bang on accurate, rests at zero, and is very responsive. Um, very cool. I love these old things because you can take them apart, see how they work, and fix it. It's not full of all this electronic wizardry craziness that you can't really see how it works. You need all this expensive equipment to test and, and yada yada. I don't like computers, so this old stuff isn't cool. You just look at it, you see how what you got to do to fix it, and you fix it, and then it's fixed. Simple as that. Yeah, I kid you not, the thing it works perfect now. Super happy about that. Because let me show you where I'm going to put it. So I want to fill these two circles in my truck, right here and right there. Vacuum gauges going in one, I'm going to put a tachometer in the other. Um, to find gauges for this truck, which are the same period as the speedometer, is very difficult. Um, so that's actually the only vacuum gauge I have seen in last six months ever offered for sale. Or even as far as I knew, they didn't exist until I found it. So. It's grabbed it even though it wasn't really working in it. I've got it fixed now, so I put it back together. It's going to go on one of these, tack on or in the other. So, cool looking dashboard when it's done. That's about it for now.